Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. This is Linda. Have you ever had just such a rotten day at work or a day that you just didn't feel good at all and you knew that you had to feed your family or feed yourself and you just didn't want to do it. I've had many of those days and uh, actually I had one about two weeks ago and I came up with this easy no fuss meal so this is a two quart casserole and I have a 24 ounce jar of pre-made sauce pasta sauce you can use any flavor you want to and I put just a little bit in the bottom of um, that casserole dish and now I have now when I originally did this meal I had spinach but they didn't have any spinach this time so I have a 25 ounce bag of ravioli and they're frozen solid the whole bag's going in there even the ones that try to jump out just grab them and put them back in the whole 25 ounce bag solid as a rock I don't like the ones that are stuck together but anyway here we go solid as a rock all down in there doesn't matter if they're flipped over I'm just trying to get them even down a little bit but that's all of them except two and I'll just stick those right here all right 25 ounce bag of frozen ravioli. Now you're going to take a good bit of the sauce that's left. Pour it over the top of the ravioli. Now if you had some <coughs> fresh spinach or kale that'd be the time to add the, that but I don't have any if I did I'd add it then a nice little layer of parmesan cheese going on top of that y'all can tell I like cheese next layer and last I'm trying to see how these come out of here there we go I've got some frozen meatballs now I use the Italian blend because that's what I like if you like plain use that just kind of spread them around I think that's plenty this was uh, a two pound bag and I, I didn't even measure I mean you know it's just however many you think you need to feed your family or yourself or whatever all right here goes the rest of the jar of pasta sauce I'm going to put a little water in this and shake it up not much I just want to get all the sauce out of the jar 
and get it spread on there. Now we're going to put another layer of the Parmesan cheese on. You know, if <laughs> if you want to, you can add peppers or onions or in between the layers. But we're talking about a day where you don't really want to cook. So I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to chop any onions or peppers. If you got them frozen and you can break them up good, that's, that's good. All right. There we are. Aluminum foil, tightly, tightly wrapped in a 375 degree oven for an hour. And um, you might want to test them, but they should be done in an hour. And when that happens, y'all will be back. Well, here's our finished casserole. I let it bake an hour and 15 minutes just to make sure that everything was piping hot. And it doesn't it look delicious? And you didn't have to do hardly anything. So, I let it uh, cool just a little bit before I put some on a plate for Sam. That was a lousy spoonful, wasn't it? Let me get this out of here. Look at that. Now you got some lettuce that's already chopped up. Just throw some dressing on it. And 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 some bread if you want it. And, and you got a nice little meal. Now let's see what Sam thinks about this. Here you go, Sammy. Is this the ravioli that has spinach in it? No, they didn't have any spinach filled this time. I had to get cheese filled. Well, cheese is good. Yeah. Well, you know, I like, I like it. Y'all, you don't have to put this in a two-quart casserole. If you've got a larger family, use a bigger casserole dish. Use a three-quart. Use um, two bags of ravioli and, and a, a whole bag of uh, uh, meatballs. And and if you have a chance to throw in some spinach or something, you know, if you just happen to have it, go for it. I mean, this is this is an easy meal when you don't feel good or you just had a bad day and and you don't want to cook. So what do you think, Sam? It's delicious. I love the raviola. The meatballs are essentially good. Everything hot to it Ooh, like it should be? A little bit too hot. I mean, you know... I Not mean, spicy, you mean hot from the oven. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. An easy, easy meal. Weekends, week weekdays, weeknights, anytime you don't want to make a big fuss, this is, this is for you. Now, there's something else I want to say. They're doing away with annotations. And a lot of times when I make a mistake in degrees, you know, what temperature to cook something or how long to cook it or, or I've misspoken something during a recipe, I'll put it in an annotation. Well, the first of April, first week in April sometime, they're doing away with that. So... I will be putting any remarks that need to be said in a video to straighten up what I've said or done wrong will be in the show more section before the recipe. So you all don't forget that, okay? Thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. Please like if you like this recipe. Give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a minute. Until next time, you all take care and God bless.